Technology has obviously completely changed the ball game and the newest generation is so comfortable with this technology. They're thinking in different ways. And so the challenge these next couple of years is gonna be companies figuring out ways to adapt. My name is Cheryl Platts and I'm a senior user experience designer at Microsoft. User experience folks are the ones who are figuring out how people expect and want software to behave and make sure our software does that the first time. It's my job to make sure you don't want to throw your computer across the room. When I was growing up, we had PCs and we had all kinds of stuff. I ran out of things to read, so I read all of the PC magazines in the house. and That was how I kind of got into using the computer. And so that was a big part of my growing up and a big inspiration for me getting into technology. After high school, I decided to attend Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. They're one of the top computer science programs in the country, but one of the things that drew me to it was how interdisciplinary it was. Carnegie Email is really unique. They aren't just good at engineering or computer science, but they have a great art department and they have all sorts of other things going on. So when I started in computer science, there was the dot-com bubble, the streets paved with gold, and then um, September 11th happened two weeks before my senior year job fair. And then everything sort of changed. So I went in and applied for the Carnegie Mellon Entertainment Technology Institute, which is a two-year master's program there. And so I did a year of study there and then left for industry. It's a really exciting time to be a designer. I'm getting to apply all of these new principles in this new design language and it's opening up huge new areas of exploration, giving us a chance to do things right and to really delight people in a way that we haven't before. Lately, I've been doing a lot of generative design. So I start even like pen and paper or sketching on my tablet computer. And so I'm helping people figure out what stories they want their next product to tell, how we can convince people that those are the right sort of problems we need to solve. When I was growing up, I uh, there weren't any groups that supported girls who were interested in technology. So one of the things that I do outside of Microsoft is I'm involved with a nonprofit group called Ignite. I started out as a volunteer with them and now I'm the vice president of the organization, continuing to work towards getting more girls exposed to careers in science and technology. It's amazing how much a difference somebody can make with just a couple hours speaking in front of a group of girls. It bridges the gap and lets the girls picture themselves doing those things and understand that those opportunities are available to them and desirable. I mean, great salaries. And a lot of times technology jobs are really flexible. So if you want to have kids, you can work from home more. Or, you know, if you want to travel, you can do that. I tell the girls a lot. There are some folks who are happy to pour their whole life into their work and that's fabulous, but your job does not have to be your life. You can be a whole person, you know, you can do other things outside of work. Take control, you know, defend your own work-life balance. You're responsible for your own happiness. <laughs>